Good evening, Cloud community, and welcome back to Super Cloud 5, the battle for AI supremacy. We're here in our Palo Alto studios live with the Cube's most infamous host, Lisa Martin. Infamous? Wow. You're, you're famous, you're infamous, you're fabulous, <laughs> you're brilliant. I could go on. I could go on with thank my you. terms of endearments. Yeah, uh, of course. Thank you. Of course, Lisa. It's great to have you here. End of day two, our last segment. We are halfway through are. Super Cloud 5. Are. We've got teams in Barcelona, Las Vegas. It's really thrilling. You and I had a lot that we planned to say tonight, but given the breaking Elon Musk news, want to get everybody up to speed. Elon Musk, of course, a core figure in the AI game. He used to sit on the open AI board with Sam Altman when that all began. He's long said that AI is actually one of his greatest fears, which is why he plays the role that he plays. And AI is at the backbone of his companies. Interesting developments happened this evening at a New York Times event in New York. York City. While he was being interviewed and asked what he would say to or, or if he wanted to appeal to advertisers on that platform, he said, if anyone wants to blackmail me with advertising or money, they can go F themselves. Welcome back to the show, everyone. I'm, decide I'm excited to talk with Lisa Martin tonight. Oh, Elon. <laughs> Sometimes right? we just inner voice. Do we have an emoji for that yet? It's this one. It's the face plant. You know, at least he's consistent. He is consistent, <laughs> and he is consistently picking fights. Speaking of picking yeah. fights with Elon, Gawk today. I did. That was what fantastic. A, I mean. Bold, bold move. You know, I was impressed with their marketing prowess, and shout, straight up, just shout out to the Grok marketing team. Y'all are doing a smashing job. Not only are they rebranding their tagline to wow, since everyone says wow, just like we did. Yes. Earlier today, they brought a live llama bunny pregnant with her baby to Denver, milling around the streets of Denver. Definitely the coolest activation there, for sure. Certainly the, the only live activation, I think, that we saw. And then, you know, they debatably, and they had the courtesy to come to the studio today, and then they debated out-marketed themselves yet again by telling Elon to cease and degrock. And, and, and I would love to know if there was any legalese actually in that, but for anyone who's been served a cease and desist or a DMCA takedown, like I have working in 3D printing or in a lot of other industries, there's a real uh, gut check and a little bit of a belly drop when you get yeah. something telling you, you know, accusing you of, of, of cheating or of theft or of infringement. All of it, yes. And uh, though I'm curious to see since they decided to pick that fight this afternoon, probably just about two hours before Elon decided to pick a fight with half the planet. Yeah. Super curious to see how Elon weighs his battles. Maybe maybe the, maybe the DGROC will be a, a nice diversion for him Could to be. avoid having to explain why he just told everyone to go F themselves. I don't know. I think what he just did at the New York Times is pretty profound. In addition to picking a fight with Elon today. Spicy, spicy day for them. They gave us a fantastic demo. Lisa, that was your first time seeing it. It was. And I love that you had the exact same response that all of us have had so far, yeah. which is, wow. We're gonna need to get Jonathan to show us that demo again. I think so. Mm -hmm. So this is Llama 2 70 billion. This is the largest large language model from Meta. And why don't you ask it a question? Should we ask it yeah. if there's an alternative to NVIDIA? It's going to say no. For LLM inference? <laughs> It'll say no. Uh, f it, uh, it actually, I, I tested oh, it really? this morning. Uh, All right. Well, let's see what it says. Let's find All out right. what Grok says. Well, it's already done. Whoa. <laughs> That's so, our brand. So this was, we did this deliberately. This is Lisa's first is my, time experiencing yes. Grok. You had the exact same response that I did, and that apparently everyone does. You mm -hmm. said that Wow is your brand. Mm -hmm. Everyone says Wow. Lisa, why don't? And this pick something random. Oh, we were talking about cupcakes, cooking, and dogs, dogs. yesterday yes. as an AI potential business model. Yes. Let's let's ask Jonathan something fun about that. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, we got a recipe. We got a recipe. Popcakes. Well, you got more than a recipe. Popcakes. Oh, we're gonna make popcakes today. <laughs> <laughs> Rolled oats, very healthy. Oh my goodness. So, so now we just got to. Uh, and how can we make we this better? We just learned how to cook cupcakes for puppies, correct? And, and, and to be very clear, just so the audience is aware, this is all real time. None of this is pre recorded. We're showing you Brock oh and Jonathan's screen in, in real time. This is phenomenal. 
cupcakes. I, I just, I, it's going <laughs> to be a takeaway from the show that I was not expecting. I don't even think I had heard that term before. And I mean, my dog's almost 13. You're a super big dog lover. Yeah. Were you aware of cupcakes? Yes, I was. Yes. Oh man. So I'm just, I'm learning about how to pronounce our team's name. I'm learning about cupcakes. I'm really expanding my mind here on the cube this it, week. That's what the cube is here for. <laughs> it's to help us think out of the box. I'm going to be working on the name for the pup cake business. We're going to be working on other yes. accoutrement that we're going to be pairing with the pup cakes. I've got two fabulous taste testers at home. One's Beautiful. a puppy, one is four, but both of them ha are Labradors, so no discerning taste whatsoever. They will eat. I feel like they'll have the enthusiasm that oh, every sure. new small business owner needs, though, when they You're just right. need some super excited early adopters. I've, I've I think you've got Ella them built there. right Absolutely. in. Absolutely. And I've got taste testers. Yeah, <laughs> and, you, and you've got taste testers. That, uh, after a tasty day today, we're gonna have a very interesting day tomorrow. We've got plenty of guests, again, from all over the world, from John and Dave down in Las Vegas at AWS Rian event. I believe we'll have some more from HPE in Barcelona with Rob and Rebecca. I'm very excited. We've got an astronomer coming on tomorrow. That's a, that's a big part of AI and supercomputing was a conversation that we had a lot in Denver. And we've also got Toyota yeah. as well as a bunch of other fun guests. And more importantly, Lisa, I can't wait to go through the entire day with you. Same. We've got Dave Donatelli, who's going to be in here talking about the digital employee experience, why it's more important than ever. Also from Aviatrix CEO and Cubalog, Doug Merritt is going to be on live from Las Vegas tomorrow. So some more great content. And I can't wait to actually explore all of that with you either. Oh, well, fantastic. And we hope that you enjoy learning, laughing, and, and, and living the AI life here with us at SuperCloud 5, the battle for AI supremacy on the cube here in Palo Alto. My name is Savannah Peterson, and I hope you all have a beautiful evening. You're watching the cube, the leading source for cloud and generative AI coverage.